Alpha, Alpha, here we go. He's going to give you a true verdict on how that went down. Oh, are you awake? Are you actually awake after watching that? I mean, you know, what, what can we say? <laughs> we said the best we could get was a draw, and wait, lo and behold, we got a draw. I think the fact that Wolves didn't turn up probably played into that actual result, but at the end of the day, United looked at the end like they were playing for a draw, which is massively disappointing because we've got a fixed pile up as it is. The, the squad is threadbare to hell, and then we've got players like Ashley Young at the end. Yeah, he put in a shift today, but right at the end, the captain wasting time playing for a nil nil draw. Wolves, we didn't get one shot on target. I mean, there's no other options for us out there. We're just deprived of any quality. The whole game, don't get me wrong, it was both teams who were poor today. Both teams playing in Europa League, loads of fixtures coming up and to be honest, I think Wolves probably had a little bit more incentive to go on and try and get the win, but it's the same man, it's just, I mean, how United are getting on TV at the moment, because the value for money is absolutely shite, it is shocking and I don't know what else to say, I really don't know what else to say about United at the moment, but it's just, the value for money is zero, let's be honest, I mean, you come out late Saturday night, cancel all whatever you had going on Saturday evening or weekend to come here to watch absolute dross again nil nil I mean yeah the FA Cup may have lost a little bit of appeal but show a little bit of summer and then we get a little token token gesture right at the end by some of the players coming over giving the shirts to some of the fans and what I can understand fans getting behind all I can understand fans getting behind the club. yeah we all love our club but at the end of the day we, got to, we need something back we need something back it's an absolute farce at the moment, this club. There's zero, absolutely zero going on. Uh, I mean, disappointing against Wolves. That's two games now where we've barely hit a shot in anger at the keeper. Wolves and then Arsenal early on in the week. And it's just back to the doldrums again. No way of knowing. We've got City on Tuesday. Clive and forbid. I mean, the pressure is going to be massively on if we get dicks in that game. And City put out an half ass team today and has walked over their opponents. I know it's only lower league opposition, but come on. United, we cannot win a game here. We've had four attempts here and been absolutely shite in every single one. I mean, you could say one thing, at least we kept another clean sheet. That was it. But again, praise for Romero. Good saves, commanded his box. Decent performance. Williams again, a lot better. Probably bright spark today. Greenwood drifted in the second half, which is unfortunate because he was good in the first half. But I haven't got anything else to say. Say what you want. Comment below. In, enlighten me. I'm going to speak to the boys here. Yeah, I ain't got much else to say apart from <sighs> disappointed, bored in there, singing songs that don't even don't even relate to this team anymore. It's embarrassing sometimes singing you've only come to see United it's embarrassing to actually sing that song at the moment because it's so dull to watch I'll oh, speak to the boys see what they see what they thought oh, Bennett Alpha Alpha here we go he's going to give you a true verdict on how that went down that's Alfie's verdict on that game he's our first second away game of the season filter to bits and what are you saying mate oh. I with it a game of two shy teams, really, wasn't it? Yep. Back again. <laughs> Back again, yeah. Uh, both teams were poor, to be honest. I think we were happy to take the replay towards them. They didn't show any fight or anything. That was poor, that. Playing for a replay, shocking. Playing for a replay, and what was, what was our formation? Where was Greenwood playing? Don't know. Matter, don't look, Matter looked like he was playing centre forward at one point. Oh, no. It's like, oh, it's just going backwards again, like, but it's nil nil. With the team that we put out, I didn't expect to. I said we were lucky if we got a draw, but the team we put out I thought was reasonable for a draw. I thought Wolves were poor. Yeah. Wolves were possibly the worst we've seen Wolves play. Yeah. But it looked, it looked like both teams have been out on the piss tonight before. And it looked like a poor game. And now we've got a replay. United have already mess, sent the messages out, taking the money out of the account. Yeah. Lovely. I know. Just to rub salt in the wounds, you know what I mean? But all in all, it was up here. Uh, Positives for me today, I would say. Brandon Williams and Maguire. Yeah, Williams. I thought Maguire played really well. Today. Romero, yeah. yeah Alden. Chong, even, yeah. Ashley, even Ashley Young was a professional performance by Young. Yeah, apart from the time wasting for a draw at the end, then yeah. yeah. 
it's all good. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. about as good as it's going to get. Has it? <laughs> yeah, that says it all. A nil nil draw is as good as it's going to get. I don't know where Aaron's gone. He's gone. Yeah, I don't know. He's gone hiding away in a corner somewhere, I think. So, we'll see. I mean, Alfie summed it up. Ant summed it up then. I mean, what else can you say? But, I mean, there isn't anything else we can add to what Ant said there. I mean, what is the answer now? What is the answer for this club? I mean, you've got fans out here. You've got some absolute idiot United fans out here as well. I mean, just to shout out to Josh, the cameraman for United stand before. We actually came out the stands. Josh was attacked by a United fan. Attacked by a United fan, which is absolutely shocking. Absolute, oh, I don't, coward. Scarfed up, balaclava on, came over and attacked Josh, the United stand cameraman. It's an absolute disgrace. An absolute disgrace. I mean, guys just out here doing the job. If you don't like what we do, just don't come up. Don't come up to us. Just ignore us. But don't come over and make a complete and utter ass of yourself. Like he is now. Josh is there now, nursing the black eye, still working away in the corner. It's, you know what? We don't need to be arguing amongst ourselves as well as watching that crap on the pitch. So, how up? He just summed up what has been another shocking trip to Molyneux. It really has. Disappointing. Very disappointing. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. It really isn't. I mean, I may get a quick word with Aaron before we go, but is it going to be any different from what we've already said? We'll go and find Aaron and find out. I've found him. He's come out of hiding, Aaron. Yeah. Face says it all, mate. I don't know what to say, man. Is, is it really necessary to play a replay, to do a rematch at Old Trafford? It's really not necessary. Because right now I'm looking at the squad. Exactly. It's, it's so exactly. thin. It's so thin. There's no point of doing a rematch at Old Trafford. That just means more games, more fatigue, probably an injury here and there, probably a niggle here and there. It's really not needed. And you know when uh, in the second half when he made those substitutions, that just told me everything I needed to know. He's yeah. playing for the draw. I mean, we haven't got the squad to play another game in January. We, we January don't. is rammed. We don't. They're playing, playing a game every four days already in January. Eh? Big games as well, yeah. where he's going to need the big players. Yeah. And, and I don't know if we're actually going to do the rematch in January. It's not going to make it. When can we squeeze that in? That is, the schedule's already so packed. And I just don't know if that was and necessary. And we looked like we was playing for a draw. Yeah, we looked like, yeah. It was, that at one point we were playing with five at the back when Dallow came on and I was like, come on, buddy, are you really know. serious? It was in the first half, we looked decent. You know, we looked decent. We got away with a lot, <laughs> actually. Remember, I saved us. That, that save was incredible. Save, great that save. was an incredible Shout save. Shout to really give De Gea a goal now for number one Premier League, surely. Yeah, yeah, he has to. He deserves I mean, a he's shout. He's done nothing wrong. He commands the box better. Yeah. Comes out, Can better in the air. Sheet today. And he gets clean sheets. <laughs> that's, the, that's what you want as a, for a See, goalkeeper. most of our clean sheets this season have come from Romero. Yeah, exactly. I know they've been in some poor games. I'm yeah. not saying he's not playing any Premier League game, but yeah. at the end of the day, maybe that voice behind the defenders gives a defender, because... I thought we quite we defended all right today. We defended all right, but in midfield, it was the midfield was really empty at times, and I think the instructions from Nuda were clear. When they attacked, they always had they doubled up on our fullbacks, and when they when we attacked, they doubled up on our wingers. And I noticed that in both halves, and that left a big hole in midfield. But they didn't really care because they know they we can't create it anything weak from it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We can't create anything from midfield, so that's where they they said, you know what, just give them the space in midfield. They can't create anything from there anyway. They're going to he heavily rely on their their forwards and heavily rely on their wingers. And I felt sorry for Greenwood today because he dropped so deep at yeah, times. He looked he was, like a midfielder. I didn't know what formation he was playing, mate. I didn't know where he was playing. Looked like. Matt to us centre forward at one point. Yeah, yeah, and it was just a big mishmash. And it, I don't know where we go from here, Adam. I really don't know what to tell you. All yeah, right, I think we're saying all boats here. Aaron's summed it up. Pretty much said exactly what we all and he's echoed what we've said. <laughs> Boy, I can just hear Rick going on now about his fan cam. I don't even know what he's saying. I'm just going to go over there and find out. It's been the most entertaining thing of the night. But I mean, I'm, you can hear it everyone's. Everything about tonight has been disappointing. From the crap on the pitch, the crap off the pitch, everything going on out here. It's so sad being a United fan at the moment with everything between the fans and what we're watching on the pitch. I don't know how it gets better. I really don't know. Everyone's running out of answers now. That's it. I mean, people, thanks for staying with it. I know it's not a lot to actually watch or actually get too excited about watching us or moan after the games, but this is the truth. We want to be able to report and actually talk about positive things, but it gets worse every week now again. We turned the New Year corner like we did last year and it's going downhill again. It needs to change, but can it change with the games coming up? Can you see us winning any? 
maybe we're going to get what we did last time and we thought we were going to lose and it was all going to be over or is it a few too many games now or too many games too many I should say and these are going to start catching up with us now the better teams and they're going to put us to bed I don't know oh, like the video people should subscribe if you are watching for the first time don't forget to hit that bell notification button <laughs> the derby's next <laughs> you're going to want to see that one anyway my god and obviously thanks for getting comment below and I will see you for the City game. Damn it.